In this video, I'll show how I created a smartwatch UI using the Waveshare 1.8 inch display with LVGL and EZ Studio. I added a step counter inspired by Vola's videos, which works based on the IMU sensor. The board also includes a speaker, microphone, and other features. Two versions are available on the Waveshare product page, one with a battery and one without. Check out the product page for more details. Board setup and sample projects are available on the wiki page. I used the sample project to create an OBP for Squareline Studio. All the links are in the description. I use Figma's basic shapes to design the UI. It lets me preview Google fonts without downloading them. The right font adds uniqueness and a fresh feel to the design. The Figma community is also a great place to find icons and other UI elements. Some icon sets are premium, so I plan to choose a free one that best fits the design later. The button is created using a basic rectangle tool styled with rounded edges and an inner shadow. I designed two sets of icons for LVGL, one for the default state and one for the checked state. Once everything looks good, I export the design as PNG files. Open Easy Studio, select the ALVGL project, choose the LVGL version, set the name and location, and create the project. Select the screen in the page tab and set the width and height. For the Waveshare 1.8 inch screen, it's 368 by 448. Go to the project settings page and update the width, height, display type, theme, and other options. In the build settings, adjust everything as per your preference. Go to the bitmaps tab and import the UI elements created in Figma. Set the color format to true color with alpha, then press OK. Add an image widget from the components palette and set its properties. Add a button widget and make it checkable. Then style both the default state and the checked state. Duplicate the label, import the fonts downloaded from Google Fonts, set the font size based on the Figma design, and style the label properties. Repeat the steps for other labels.
For the date, I create a container and style it instead of using a PNG image. Then I place a label inside the container. I repeated the same steps for the weather UI. For the temperature value in unit, I created a container and placed both inside it. Then I styled it using LVGL's flex layout, so when the temperature value changes, the unit remains properly aligned in its position. Once everything looks good, press the Build button. For the template project, I use all the libraries and LVGL setup code from the demo project provided by Waveshare. Then, I copy the generated UI folder from the Easy Studio directory into the lib folder of the Platform.io project. Open the Platform.io folder in VS Code. The platform will initialize automatically. Select the port, then build and upload the code. For large fonts, change the flag in the LVGL config file. After updating the flag, upload the code again. The UI is ready. Later, functionalities were added to make everything work. All the links can be found in the description.